the Bob Mills Weather Center. Meteorologist Aaron Reeves. Well, we've been socked in in the clouds and kind of cool temperatures for a while now. We've seen off and on rain. Last night, of course, was no exception. The dividing line between the, the much warmer and the much colder weather, it's kind of right on top of us. We're kind of right in that buffer zone, 49 in Tulsa, 71 down in New Orleans. Look up there at Bismarck 9, Kansas City, even quite a bit cooler there in the 30s. And it's going to kind of waffle northward a bit here over the next couple of days before waffling hard back to the south. In the meantime, though, most of our rain now down along the Red River through Arkansas into the southeast. High pressure kind of keeping us a bit drier, but we're still cloudy. Our next storm system's rolling into the west coast. That's going to arrive here as we head toward the Monday, Tuesday time frame in which at that time things can kind of get interesting as they can this time of year. Uh, down south of Clayton around Antlers, Bethel, Idabel, Hugo, that's where the rain is extending back towards Durant and then down into the Dallas area. We're probably done with that tonight, though we probably will see some fog develop a lot like we have seen really for the past week or so. Last night, some places saw some pretty decent, very beneficial rain. Sky took over an inch and a half. Tulsa just over an inch, two inches about in prior and over two inches in Jay. Further to the south, Rainfall amounts really dropped off significantly, gener generally around a tenth to a quarter of an inch. A couple of higher amounts down there in southern LaFleur County. That's about it. We have more rain on the way once again here in a couple of days. We've caught up a bit. We're now just six and a half inches below. We definitely don't want to catch up all at once. That would lead to a lot of flooding. But hey, we got a little bit of rain. We're happy. Hopefully uh, we get a little more as we head towards uh, the Tuesday time frame. And there is that chance we're looking at maybe a half inch to an inch of rain possible as we head over the next seven days. Most of that pretty much would just all be once again Monday into Tuesday the way things are looking right now. That's the, basically the only storm we have coming in between now and really seven days from now. Some of those storms late Monday night into early Tuesday as that front moves in uh, could be strong to severe. It looks like a lot of this activity would be elevated so the bases would be a bit higher. So the main threats would be for wind and hail. We'll watch it. A lot could change between now and then, but this mainly looks to be early Tuesday morning. It'll get on out of here quickly and then it'll be a windy day. Overnight tonight, temperatures dropping down into the 30s for most of us, 40s to the south, fog potentially developing tomorrow afternoon, 50s. And uh, then as we roll on into Monday, south winds crank up, the moisture starts to return. We'll be in the 40s to start out, so much warmer. And then we'll end up close to 60, mainly in the upper 50s with a few showers and rumbles of thunder developing Monday evening, Monday uh, night into early Tuesday morning. Here we are at seven line of showers and storms moving through. But notice by the middle of the day, it is out of here. We'll likely see some clearing temperatures warming up into the 60s because we'll get more of a westerly wind at first, not a northerly wind. That cooler air is going to take a little while longer to settle in here. It'll really take until more into Wednesday and Thursday before some cooler air moves in and then colder air by the time we get into Friday and on into next weekend, the way things are looking right now. As maybe one or two of those days, we struggle to get out of the 30s. Severe possible once again Monday night into Tuesday. Then another uh, front moves in maybe towards the next Monday uh, with some more rain chances at that point in time. As we take a look at where we're at right now, not much going on. All is quiet, no fog yet. Uh, 49 north winds at 7, dew point at 44. So those close that closeness there is why we're expecting that fog to develop. Temperatures across the metro generally upper 40s for us at this point in time. And as we expand things out, 38 in Bartlesville, 49 Tulsa, 51 down in McAllister. It's 52 in the Poto area. And then as we look at our metro planner tonight, 46 at 9. Once again, fog developing overnight down to around 39 or 40 and then rolling up to about 53 tomorrow with clouds on the increase. Here's a quick look at your extended forecast. Rain and storms likely Monday night to early Tuesday. Then things clear out and then they cold out. We get a little bit chilly. So get those jackets ready if you haven't used them in a while. Hey, that's all for right now. Stick it here. Stick here. We'll be back in a jiffy.